Today we're going to make a concrete heart-shaped box. I used my MakerBot to 3D print the box. If you go to my website, you can learn exactly how I did this. I used two different types of concrete for this project. I used Quickcrete countertop mix in white to make the first box, and the cheaper Quickcrete 5000 from Home Depot to make a gray box. 3D prints often require a little bit of prep work before you use them for making a mold. I use pliers and a box cutter to trim off the excess scaffolding and peel back the base plates. Once the models had been cleaned and prepped, I used a hot glue gun to stick them to the bottle of a plastic container. To make the silicone mold, I'm going to use a product called Mold Star 30. It comes in two parts and you have to mix it together before pouring it into the plastic container. I let the silicone cure overnight and then use diagonal pliers to clip away the plastic and peel it off. The geometry of the heart-shaped box makes it a little bit difficult to remove from the hardened silicone. I had to use a knife to cut away the silicone so that I could peel and pry it out. For the first box, I'm going to use white Quickcrete countertop mix. The concrete is more fragile than the 3D printed plastic. So I'm going to have to make some more cuts to get it out without breaking it. Now because I made these additional cuts to remove the first concrete box, I want to make a plastic shell that will hold the silicone mold together so that I won't lose wet concrete out of the cuts. So I drilled and cut some holes in the bottom of an identical plastic container to make an exterior shell that holds all the silicone in place. For this second concrete box, I use Quickcrete 5000. Now because I had made additional cuts in the silicone, this concrete box came out a lot easier. I can use the same silicone mold to mass produce these boxes, and I'm pretty pleased with how they came out. I think this combination of 3D printing and silicone mold making is a great way to make items for sale.